bringing a new puppy into your home will change your life forever. Puppies are definitely a lot of work, but they also bring plenty of joy to your world. Whether you are getting your first puppy or just need a refresher course, here are 10 ways to take care of your puppy. Let's get started. Number 1 is, choosing the right puppy. If the time is right for getting a puppy, you will now have to choose the best match. Perhaps your future companion will find you. A puppy can come into your life by chance and you can feel an instant connection and know it is the right one, but it doesn't always happen like that. Often, you must take on the important task of going out and finding the right kind of puppy for you. Number 2 is, getting your home ready for puppy. Before you bring home your cute little furball, you need to ensure that your home is as safe as possible, both for your new puppy and your belongings. The puppy proofing process is similar to toddler proofing a home, but there are differences. First, get an idea of the puppy eye view of your home. Electrical cords, potential toxins, and breakable items should be placed completely out of reach. Remember that your puppy can jump, climb, chew, and scratch. So place what you can very high up or in a locked cabinet. Number 3 is, naming your puppy. As your puppy joins the family, the all-important job of naming this new addition is a priority. Obviously, you will be using your dog's name constantly throughout his life, so your choice should be a wise one. Pick something that has a nice ring to it and is not too long. It should be easy to say and simple for your puppy to understand. It's also important that your dog's name does not sound too similar to other words you plan to teach it. Number 4 is, Essential Puppy Supplies. Your new puppy will need certain items from the very start. Some are essential for your pup's well-being, while others are quite helpful. Most important items include a leash and collar with identification, food and water bowls, and chew toys. You should also get a comfortable dog bed and, preferably, a crate or kennel. This is how you can keep your puppy healthy and normal. Number 5 is, choosing your puppy's food. Your puppy's diet can make all the difference in its future health and well-being. Before you decide on puppy food, do your research. Talk to your vet, other pet professionals, and fellow dog owners. Remember that if the food you initially choose does not meet your expectations, you can gradually switch to another food. In today's dog-friendly world, the choices of diet seem endless. Some owners like to feed premium foods, while many feel that holistic natural diets are best. Homemade and raw diets are also becoming increasingly popular. Number 6 is, keeping your puppy healthy. Preferably, you will find a veterinarian before you get a puppy. Within a few days of taking your new puppy home, you should bring it to your vet for a general exam. Take steps to make it a good experience so your puppy will be less likely to fear the vet's office. Over the course of your puppy's first six months, you will see a lot of your vet this begins with puppy vaccines and usually leads to spaying or neutering. Typically, puppies should be spayed or neutered at around six months of age. Number 7 is Puppy Vaccinations Vaccines protect your puppy and other dogs from potentially fatal illnesses. Just like human babies, puppies need basic immunizations to take over when maternal antibodies fade. The puppy vaccination series is one of the most important aspects of your dog's early life. Number 8 is, House Training Your New Puppy. House training is one of the first things you will teach your new puppy. This process can sometimes be quite arduous, though some puppies catch on earlier than others. You should begin house training as soon as you bring your puppy home, but it takes patience. Puppies are generally not able to control their bladders and bowels until about 12 weeks of age. If your puppy is younger than this, just be patient. Number 9 is, Basic Puppy Training and Socialization. Beyond housebreaking, there are many more things you will need to teach your dog. Start by working on socialization. Next, leash training will set the stage for teaching basic commands, like sit, come, and stay. Teaching various basic commands can help you curb some behavior problems. And number 10 is, bonding with your puppy. The bond you have with your puppy begins the moment it comes into your life and never stops growing. You can nurture this bond through affection, training, grooming, 
playtime, general exercise, and participation in various activities. You may want to join an obedience class, start training in dog sports like agility and flyball, or participate in dog shows. One of the kindest ways to bond with your dog and allow your dog to bond with others is to get involved with animal-assisted therapy. If your puppy is right for therapy, it can begin training to visit people in hospitals and nursing homes or help children to read and learn. Strengthening and preserving the human-canine bond benefits the health and well-being of both you and your puppy.